18, please stop watching this video. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys a partial process video. Um, I have created an SVG file for my Patreon um, tier two and I am going to put it together today. So this is like a six in one, <laughs> honestly, because I'm going to put the, the tutorial, uh, put the two case together with you guys today so they can know how to use it. And I am using this project as an Alina Sunday. I am also incorporating other um, businesses, um, Cardstock Warehouse. There will be a link for them down below. Also, Ariel Shop, who is Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. I have some things from my stash that I'm using. So I am throwing the whole gambit of my, my arsenal in this video. And um, so there's a discount code for Ariel Shop. If you guys are interested, and I'll link all of Alina's projects, uh, products down below as well. So again, this is going to be a suitcase. I have been seeing them floating around Instagram recently. A suitcase with a window and a shaker. And I was like, oh my gosh, a suitcase, a window, and a shaker. So I took on the challenge to create one from scratch um, using my Siloy Cameo. So I've done that and I'm going to put it together and I'm using, um, two, three paper collections. Well, the last isn't paper collection, but I'm using, um, you can see this one garden party. I'm diving into my garden party here. That's Maggie Holmes. So I've used this sheet and then I have, um, this sheet that I have some remnants left over of. I also am using, uh, this is Cardstock's Warehouse, here's the bigger sheet, the Precious Metals, and this one is in a gold, is the one that I use. You get a, um, like a gray, like a gun metal, a rose gold, a silver, and a regular gold, so be sure to check it out. And then I'm using this uh, Buenos Dias collection. Uh, this one is called Happy Mosaic, and I love these pink stars on this side. Super pretty. I also have some um, pink pastel vellum or pastel pink vellum from the paper studio at uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I also used uh, this sheet from Buenos Dias, Colorful Life. And I love that gold. It's two-sided. So those are the papers that I pulled uh, to cut my suitcase out in and I cut the straps out in two different colors because I wasn't sure you know which ones I was going to use and um so from Ariel shop I am thinking I'm going to use either this either one of these pink yellow or green uh fluffy trim fluffy trim pleated trim so I will um I'm going to try to use that because I think it's so cute I think it'll make a cute little pocket and then um, I've also pulled some of her, um, these are the charm, they hold the metal clasp, the lobster clasp. Oh, what do you call these? Oh my gosh, I am drawing a complete big chains. And then I have some of her eyelets, beautiful floral flower eyelets. I have some of her um, pom-poms. And then her sequin mix. This is the white flat iridescent. Really pretty. And then also this uh, sequin mix box. I'll put the unboxing videos that I have for all of these down below in the description box. That's going to make some pretty shaker mix. So we're going to mix that together. And like I said, it's going to be a half process video. I'll maybe pop in with a voiceover at some point. But we shall see. And then from Alina, we have the uh, sequin mix. Here's a star iridescent white. And also this mix here. And I think I'm going to take out, try to pluck out the greens and just use like the flower and the little sprinkles. That's what I'm, that's my intention. And then I have these cute little ribbon holders. They're little clasps. All of this will be linked below. I'm just making up my, my own names here. And then this leaf die, which I cut out already. And I love, 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 love. This ticket die. And then this ticket die and stamp combo. So I'm going to use these items. And I got a couple other things from my stash that I'm going to use. Like I have some beads 
And then I have some flower dies that I cut out already. I'll show you these. I have them sitting on my mouse pad. But this is what I have. Um, I cut it out in the vellum and then in the Buenos Dias collection and then the garden party. And then look how cute these leaves are. I cut out in the gold um, mirror paper from Carstock Warehouse. So pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of those, but we shall see. I think I'm going to try to pull out my sewing machine as well. And then I have some um, bits from Sparkling Ghoul. I ordered a bunch of bowls. I'll show you the bowls real quick because um, I don't have um, a haul video on them. I, I'm just doing an Instagram post, but look how pretty these bowls are. Uh, one is, I believe, the Marigold set. And then I bought a set of these shimmer, um, like glitter, sugar flowers in the blue and the pink and then all of these are her just her pretty pretty perfect bowls different um, papers and then yeah this is called the marigold set but again i'll post this on instagram but how pretty and perfect these bowls are so um that's that and again that's from sparkling ghoul i'll link link her instagram down below but also she sent, uh, so that's one of her flowers. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. But she sent uh, uh, two freebies or some freebies. And in the freebie was this green and this pink bowl. And then also these little string tidbits or these little um, ribbons. And I thought they would be perfect as like little um, charms, little thing, little ribbon things. So I'm going to try to attempt to make one of those and add it so i have all of my pieces cut out um so i'm gonna pause this video so i can kind of get my thoughts together <laughs> as to what i'm gonna start with because i don't know if i how i'm gonna sew this if i'm gonna sew it so i will be right back okay to briefly go over the pieces um for sc2 um and my patreon um this is you'll get one of these pieces but you want to cut it out eight times they are the borders for the suitcase and I tell you as little as this thing is it was a thorn in my side but I got it done and it should work just perfectly if you cut it out so you'll need eight of those this is the handle and then you can take out the holes if you want I'm gonna add, add the holes so you can add a brad to it um, but I cut that out in the gold and then so you'll see that also in your file you'll see this size um, which is like the tab, the closure tab that you can use for like a magnet or a velcro piece But then I've gone ahead and offset it a little bit um, So I can you know have a little layer I probably offset it a little too much, but Be that as it may you also have this frame and this is on goes on the outside of the perimeter of your opening and I've cut that arrow out again in another pattern and then you'll see these little strips. There's two strips. You only need two um, for the suitcase, but I cut out two of the two so I can have like a double, I'm thinking like a double layer. So this is what you'll see in there. You just need to cut out the set. And, but like I said, I didn't, I wasn't sure what I wanted to, how I wanted to play it. So I cut it out in the gold as well and then i cut it out in the black and the white uh, two times each of the pattern so so that's that and then this is just the inside of the this is just the inside of the opening not the frame so that's just extra and here's that paper that i cut out this is the front so obviously the frame goes right there on top how stinking cute is that? You can resize this if you like. Um, I have it smaller actually set up in the file so people with a portrait could use it. But definitely just group everything all together and resize it. I cut out this paper from the Buenos Dias collection because on the inside I would like it to have a window. Like I want it to look through and to be a gold window instead of the inside of, of that. I wanted the gold. So you'll have, um, this isn't included, obviously you just cut a sheet of paper to fit the opening of that. So I think this is like three and a half by, this is three and three quarters by five and a half. I think that might be a little too big, 
better safe than sorry. You also get this piece that has a split down the middle that's going to connect the front and the back together. And then this is the back piece. All right, so that's the, those are all the pieces that you get in the file to be able to make your suitcase. And then the perforated marks, when you're putting it together, make sure you match them up perfectly because you don't want a janky, you don't want a janky suitcase. So these are all the parts. I still will be right back so I can figure out what I need to do. All right, so I have decided uh, what I was going to do, and I'm going to end up having to stitch around the perimeter of here in order to include my shaker um, as an alternative if you're not a stitcher or sewer um, put your shaker together and put it behind the window and add double-sided tape too so that's an option to really good double-sided tape to keep that flat not wet glue I mean not wet glue or hot glue double-sided tape on the back of the inside and you'll be fine um, I thought about doing that but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of gold stitching around the perimeter or may still do the no yeah I'll add stitching so right now we're gonna get the sequin mix together I have my little my little cup and spoon and I'm gonna start out with the shimmer mix from Ariel for now and then I'm gonna add a little bit of some of my white beads from my stash this helps to move everything along I'm going to go to Alina's little party mix, and I love this, but I'm going to put this here first and then kind of take out the green. The green is kind of not in the mix, and these larger pearls I'm not going to add either. This is a painstakingly slow video, so we're just going to fast forward this and the rest of this can go in the mix just gonna add a little bit more all right there we go I'm gonna keep this mix it's, a, it's colors that I use often so I don't mind making a big batch and saving the rest because I know I will use it I'm using uh, Alina's iridescent stars so cute. We're going to do two spoons of that. They're so pretty. Okay. And then we're going to switch over to Ariel's big, beautiful box of beauties. And I'm going to do this, this row. I just love this presentation. Make sure all these are hitting the bottom. Oh, this pink is so pretty. I'm going to do a little bit of that. So maybe just do a little bit more. And then they're kind of uh, like little diamonds. Oh, that's a cream. So we're going to go over to this white. And she has some iridescent circles in clear. And then we'll do these circles in white. Oh, some iridescent circles here. Oh my gosh, this mix is going to be so cute. And these are flat circles. Oh no, oh no. I'll scoop those up. Don't you worry. Super cute. And then we're going to add some flat pink. And then I have some flat flowers. Now I want to save these. I'm going to save those for charms because I like using those on the char on charms. So I'm going to save that one. I'm um, not going to use this pink. But I am going to pop in a little bit of this yellow. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. A little bit more. And some star. What color is that? Yeah. Star sequin iridescent and a little bit more of this solid, a little bit of that solid yellow. And finish it off a little bit more pink. Oh my gosh. Look at whoa, we don't waste 
We oh, no, 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 no. Waste sequence. Look at this mix. Seriously, look at this mix. So now, oh, you know what? I'm going to add, oh, I want to add some of this black, but I don't normally use black. So I'm just going to add the black to the pouch that I use. That's a good idea. So we'll put this away for now because this I can use for everything, anything. I can throw silver in here or I can throw gold in here. I more, more or less use gold, but I have used um, silver in the past. So I'll save this as my base mix and then add as I need to. But that right there, oh yeah. I'm going to put these two aside because I'm done with that. And I'm going to leave this out so I can remember to add some a little splash of black in my mix and then I'm going to grab some acetate and I'm going to cut it down to the size of this window Might as well just do that right now all right this is what I'm going to use to make my acetate pocket just grab one of these to get this top layer off so you might make sure you cut two all right I'm going to flip this over to this side and I'm going to stitch this on the back, leaving this top opening open, then fill it, and then close it. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back. All right, I have stitched it together, and it is so cute with a little bit of black in there. I mean, it's so, so pretty. I love it. I love it. You can see it. a little cute. And then I've also stitched... The back of the box all right so now we can go ahead and fold up the template I gotta say I'm so proud of me I'm so proud of me okay there is a mistake in here can you see it <laughs> I did my wedges the wrong side I mean it still works the little fold up things <laughs> try to be super special and already miter the corners but your girl mitered the wrong side. See, the miter is right here. I meant for the miter to go that way. But <laughs> saying, hey, hey, is a box. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and line these up. These are exact. So don't go extra. Don't go in. Line them up exactly at the corner. And I'm going to use... Uh, Barely Arts wet glue here. I don't want to make any mistakes so my suitcase can close properly. And using hot glue, I'd be in a hurry and it'll be gloopy and I don't want that. I'm just going to line these up right at the corners. I'm using this super cool stand. A DIY or a DIY stand. What is this called? Yeah, stand DIY. It's really come in handy with my increasing need for wet glue. I don't have to keep stopping and unclogging my nozzle. I'll link it down below. I'm just making sure these edges are perfect. The star paper is so, so pretty. I love the muted, like muted pink, almost like a really muted mauve, a blush pink, I guess is a better word. Really cute. And the last one. All right. And then this not only gives us stability, but, um, it also has that core color that I like. And this I'm going to use hot glue just to give it a little added weight to this paper. All right, we're going to fold. This is just too cute. I love this. Ah, I love it. So we're going to do the same thing to this one. All right, that's all done. So, so cute. And that's going to go like this. A little hair there, cut that off. How cute is that? 
Oop, I was supposed to cut another handle. That's right, I was supposed to cut two handles. So I'm going to cut that too. I'll be right back. Okay, so just too cute. I'm going to go ahead and add um, my little round peat, my little frame here. So adorable. Use some wet glue. Just lay that right on top. Really cute. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is add um, the little half piece. Well, not half piece. It's a sheet like this. There's a perforated mark. I'm just going to go ahead and fold that over. That's going to connect the two Ouch. pieces. Just make sure you got everything how you want it. So it's going to go essentially, you know, whatever side you want to put it on that goes there. And then butt them up together, bring it around, and glue them together like so. I'm going to use wet glue again. Actually, I'm going to use, uh, use double-sided tape and wet glue. I'm just going to put double-sided tape on both sides. I'm going to make sure this stays on here. After you get the double-sided tape on there. That's your super security, um, but you add wet glue on top just so you can have a little bit of wiggle room to adjust where you want the tape it to be. Most people use um, a glue stick. Just gonna glue, grab my wet glue since I have it out. I'm just gonna do three of the lines. Just gonna add that right to the top. And add that right on the inside, just like that. Butt that up. Okay. And then seal that down. So now the bottom is sealed. So now you have it like this. Oh, but look how one, look how deep that box is. All the yummies you can fit in there. All right. So now we have to add our corners. So there's a little tab here. Fold that tab over. Then fold the perforated marks. And then connect this piece to the frame. That way you have like one cohesive look instead of having that little space in between. So going to add some wet glue to this tab and then I'm going to close the tabs together match the ends and just hold it being patient so that can be nice and neat this mirror paper is so pretty okay you want to do the same thing to all eight pieces once you get that in there you can even take your bone folder and press that in a little bit but once you get that in there you just add them to your box like that I'm going to use hot glue for that I'm just gonna wedge like a piece a drop on each of the triangles and then fit that on here just like that and hold it down just like that so I'm gonna do that for all of those and I'll be back all right, how cute is this? So adorable. I have all of my little ends on here. So, so, so cute. So pretty. I love it. All right. So, glue strings. Gotta love those. So, the next thing that we want to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and put my, darn it, I should have put my straps on before I put on the trunks, but I guess I could go, yeah, I should have put that in before. I'll just stop it and tuck it in, but you probably want to put these on before you put on your, your end pieces. 
yeah I'm not taking these all off so I'm just gonna have to literally go through <laughs> and glue it then stop it then glue it then stop it because these are supposed to go under so don't do that put these on first and then put on your end cap your end caps I'll be right back all right so I am all done with that it's coming out super cute I even did the bottom all right so now I'm gonna take my handles and I've decided to use the black handle the black and white print however it's fairly thin so I'm just going to layer it on top of the gold and then here is my um the little latch piece so like I said I probably I know that I've offset this more than what I should have and I offset it at 125 but I really would have just done like 50 or 80 or something like that but it's okay I could just cut off the extra let's see how it looks that's fine we'll leave it like that that's gonna go sit right across like this to close up the box so you might as well do that now I'm gonna add a piece of velcro to the underneath I'm using some Velcro. I think this came from Cheryl, who is Jim Vile here on YouTube. I think this is one of her goodies from her swap. So thank you, ma'am. We can always use Velcro glue dots. Glue. Wet glue. Hot glue. <laughs> Scissors. Tape. Never fails. All right. this off you're going to add this to the bottom here I think I have to add a pop dot to even everything out so it doesn't look weird oddly uneven so I have to add a pop to the back here and then that kind of lifts up so I'm going to add some hot glue to the oh, whoo, to the back of that, I want to get this nice and straight and even as possible. Right there seems like a plan. I can't see it from underneath. And then we'll take this little tape off. that down just have to let that sit for a minute let that glue adhere and then now it's pretty pretty straight so we'll let that sit for a minute while we work on the handles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch this handle just stitch around the handle and then we'll come back all right, so these two are done. They turned out so, so cute. Both of them have been stitched. So now I'm just going to take my bone folder and I give these a curl right in the middle, right before you get to the end piece. That's good enough. Nice curl a little bit more around here and then fold this in up like so you should automatically fold there and then we're going to place it right on top and I'm going to do the same thing for this one um, but before I glue those down I'm going to grab some I'm going to grab my eyelets I'm going to punch a bigger hole down here at the end it's already a hole there uh, you can press, place a brad there, or if you don't want to use the hole, you can remove the hole in the file, or just place like a flat back pearl or something on top, or some flowers or something to cover it, if you don't want it. Just thought it would be helpful. I'm punch a little hole there, and then I'm going to grab 
my eyelets from Ariel floral eyelets and I'm gonna grab I'm either gonna do the pink or the white ones so it's not that pink we'll either do this one or this one but I gotta see what it looks like that's really cute that's cute so I'm gonna go with the pink I'm gonna go with the pink ones let me make sure I have four though one two three four all right, so I'm going to put these in. Cute. All right, I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to stick like a little stick of pearl on top of that. There we go. And now we can go ahead and add these little handles. Just make sure I'm going to clean up all the little stitching pieces. Add some hot glue. Cute. Very cute. And I'm going to do the other one. And I'm adding hot glue to this large bottom piece and then just a little at the tip. Just open that up. Make sure that everything is nice and secure. Boom and done. That is so cute. That is just adorable. Just adorable. So now we can add our little oops, flower arrangement here. So let's see. These little leaves from Alina are so stinking dainty and cute. So pretty. I love these vellum ones. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to lay this yet, but um, this is a flower from my stash. It's a flower set. I know that I want to curl them up though. I may want to layer them two on top of each other. With the same. I don't know. We shall see. All right, I'm going to start folding up leaves. And just tucking them in. Just taking the leaf. And this is an Alina die. That's what I showed you guys in the beginning. Whoops. Tuck this under here. Alright. I like how that looks. It's going to add some pearls. Put that pearls to the center. I'm going to throw these right in the middle. I'm going to add this pearl to the center. All right, I'm going to take this, um, these uh, stickers. I have the stickers that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to add some uh, dimension to them to finish off decorating the front of this. And then we'll be done with this part. Dimensionals to this word. Sweet. Okay, I'll leave that there. And then I have this one. So you want to kind of add that. Either there, and I also have this big one. Maybe I'll add this big one here. And then add this little one around here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And then we have this little leaf that I had to take off. I'll put that back on. Super cute. I love it. I'm going to try to fold this end up down here a little. Fold these. They all kind of match. Love it. Love, love, love it. Cute. Now we can work on the little dangle that I was going to do. So I'm going to pull out these little items. See what we can make. We kind of used Ariel's pink eyelets. So I'm going to go with Ariel's chain that matches that to kind of hang off you know a little bit of the side and then we have these clasp clasp we're going to use so I'm going to start out with this actually I'm going to cut this in half 
And I'm going to cut this one in half because I want to use both. And I could make two then. Cut that and then this cute little, actually we can cut less than half. Let's cut there. Okay. All right, so we're going to kind of get this together. And we may still cut this a little bit more. Not sure. Just want to get all of my little tidbits in here. Yeah, we're going to cut it some more. But for now, I need to kind of mold this a little bit to form a little alliance here. I'm going to roll these up so they can fit into this thing, this clamp. And then I'm going to use these pliers here to kind of keep get that closed. Cute. And that's going to go I gotta put a jump ring on here. I'm gonna grab a large one. And then we can apply this to go through there. Our little chain, ball chain. That's the word, ball chain. That is cute. So that's how that's gonna hang. We're gonna add some other stuff. I wanna add one of Sparkling Ghouls. I think I'm gonna go with this polka dot one. I'm going to add one of her bowls. So now I'm just going to close that up and then I'll have to add another jump ring to this. <laughs> I got it! So excited about that. Alright, now I'm going to add this to this continuing little dangle here. That's what we have. So cute. I'm loving it. That looks so adorable. I'm going to clamp this on here for now. Right, I'm going to shorten that just a little, not much. Shorten it maybe by the way. Three or four. I think that'll be super cute. Got this little bow on top. All right, I got the dangle part done. So now I'm going to make. Um, some black, I have a pink and black little dangles that I made. Um, and then uh, these will be added to the box. So I have my little flathead pin. I bought some of these little um, bead caps from Joann's. I have a black bead from Ariel's shop. And then a seed bead that I'm adding from Hobby Lobby. I bought this looper from Amazon one of the best things that I've purchased for my jewelry situations it helps me out so much it makes the loop for you you just slide it in through the hole and then you close it and it loops it press it tight you take your little thing off and it makes your eye pin for you so super neat you can make these you can do this all day while you're watching television and then I'm going to take the tiniest I <laughs> the tiniest jump ring I've ever seen in my life I purchased and then I'm going to add that to my little dangle and then add that to my um add that to this ball chain that I added to the box to the suitcase and then in between these two little balls I'm going to slide this Tiny, tiny jump ring in and close it. Super cute. Look at these. Isn't that adorable? Just a white one, a pink one, and a black one. Just to add something to the top of this little dangle here. Really fun. Cute, cute, cute. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the rest of these little wisps the box that's done 
And then the last thing I'm going to do is add like a little made for you sign. I'm going to use these items here, not this one. I'm going to um, die cut out one of these tickets and then stamp this on here on some paper. I'm going to do that. Grab my paper. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I got my ink here. I'm going to cut off a little section of this. It'll fit on there. And then I'm going to use some leftover gold that I have for that. I'm going to run this through here. And then just before, um, I'm going to use my diamond press machine. Instead of pulling out the vagabond, which is right below me, but I'm just cutting out these two little things. It's a little bit easier to do that while this is sitting here. So we cut that out, and then we'll cut out in this uh, set. It already has the right size tiny die. This one. So I'm going to cut that out too. Match it up in a nice square. Run that through. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to grab this stamp here that says handmade for you. Tear that off. And that fits in there like so. First, I'm going to stamp on it. Add that to my stamp block. I'm using some Lawn Fundamentals Jet Black ink. And I'm just going to stamp first. So you can see what everything looks like. Okay, we're going to give it a hard press. It's very clean stamp. None of that rubber, you know, blurriness. Make sure I get it nice and inky. Perfect. All right. So now I'm just going to take this cute it's handmade for you. Isn't it adorable? Adorable. You can sit and make a bunch of these again. <laughs> Get you a, a snack and a good TV show. You can roll you up some um, some beads. Stamp you out some little sentiments for your projects. Handmade for you. That's going to go on the back. Put some hot glue right there. We are done. How super fancy is that? So, so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. That's that, guys. I hope you like my little process slash tutorial slash walkthrough. I think this is so pretty. So be sure to check out uh, all the links down below in the description box um, to see if you can find any discount codes or any links for what I have shown you here today. All right. I will talk to you soon. Please take a moment and like this video, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, let me know what you think. All right, bye.